so welcome to my makeup slash disc golf room makeup disco so today I'm gonna be filming an updated in the bag I did film one with MVP last year I did take some stuff out and added some stuff so I thought I would just take you through and show you a little more in depth of what I throw we will start with my putters I think that's what I did in my last one and they are the same two atoms I have a heavier one and a lighter one I use um, I prefer the softer plastic and I have they're very dirty <laughs> probably should have cleaned my discs before I did this um, I have a one 172 and a 167 and it just kind of depends I always step up to my lie with both putters in my hand the purple one is my go-to if there is a tailwind I'll pull the pink one if I'm outside the circle depending on how far but I might pull the pink one um, so yeah those are my putters uh, next I'll do my throwing putters and first we'll look at the spin and I like the proton spin and this one's really cool I didn't have this in my bag last in the bag and it is a disc that I discovered last year that I have talked about a few times now <laughs> that I didn't know I needed until I had it it is a great get out of trouble disc like if you are off the fairway and you got to get around some stuff this is a great disc to have in your bag it holds any lines like no tomorrow this is just a really good disc and there's some um, a few holes I can think of where I will use it off the tee but for the most part it's like a fairway um, get out of trouble disc uh, next is the proxy and this was in my bag last year I love this disc It is actually probably one of my favorite looking discs it's really pretty it's a plasma but it's got that cool like see-through proton kind of blend to it it is a 160 generally we'll do like 200 and under just really straight easy shots sometimes I'll put a little if it's kind of like a slight right I might put a little ante on it and it holds any lines really well so I love the proxy I don't know if you saw that but my cat just came running in ignore him next is the envy and this one in particular I think is a 168 I can't read my writing anymore I need to go over all that again but um, this is just another great disc I usually reach for the envy for 250 and under I would say and it's just a great straight to hyzer shot disc I'm thinking that I love this Proton one. I think it's really pretty, but I have so many over here, so I might actually try to work a fresh one in this season just to see um, if I like maybe another plastic a little better, but I do love the Proton. And so next up is the Theory, and this one is a 167. It's a plasma. This is another disc that was in my bag last year, but funny thing is when I filmed that in the bag last year, I had actually just got this disc like right before filming that, like the same, the, like the same day at the warehouse. And I had been throwing it just a few times before I did that, but I kind of knew like right away, I was like, yeah, I want this disc. I know it's gonna be my bag, I'm, I'm including it. So, and it has stayed in my bag and I really love it. It's a just great, reliable off the tee pad any shot fairway any shot it's just it's a great disc to have I generally will for this one probably 280 and under next up is the tangent and of course this has always been one of my favorite discs in my bag um, if you guys watched my very first video then you saw that this one I had just got in my MVP order and I decided to put this one in my bag I really like it I love the color of it so I just I had to have it in my bag and the tangent is just a great straight shot disc I love it for wooded tunnel shots I love it for I can think of a particular hole at my home course that is it's literally just like right there just straight ahead and it's just as fun just to watch this thing kind of like scare the basket a little bit every time just go really straight at it so yeah this one's kind of like the theory about 280 and under for this one and I don't the weight has left and I don't remember the weight so yeah Next is the Matrix, one that I had in my bag last year too. This is an awesome disc, very similar to the Envy. It is just a great straight to hyzer shot disc. I love this, and this one is, um, unlike my other mid ranges, I usually pull this one out for about 300 and under, and it's just, it's really reliable. It's always gonna go straight to hyzer and never turns over on me. I just really like this one, and this one is 175. 
Okay, so next is my Crave, and this one I generally pull out if I feel like a hole is too far for my matrix, then I'll throw the Crave instead, because it's very similar. This one, for me anyway, flies very, very straight, and the hyzer's at the end. It is a 165. This is a brand new one that I got with my MVP team order this year. So I am excited to kind of work this one in a little bit. I know that I had said in my original, my very first video that I was going to be working in the servo and I still am, but I was going to try out this nice fresh new crave and see how it works for me. And so far I'm, I'm really liking it. All right. And then we have the relay and this is also just a disc that I had last season. This has just been a very reliable disc for me. It is the disc that I'll pull out for just nice straight shots. Uh, occasional anti shots, but for the most part I like this this disc for straight shots. Anything that I feel like my tangent can't reach, next go-to would be the relay instead. Just if it's a wooded shot, a nice straight tunnel shot, this is what I would pull out. Um, this one is a 169. So next is the signal. And this is a 166, and this was not in my last year's in the bag. I had just recently got it, uh, maybe towards the end of the season, and I have been really liking this disc. This is just a great compliment, I would say, to the theory. Just if there's a shot that I feel like my theory won't reach with the Anheuser, um, then the signal is going to be one that I will pull. This is also just a really great get out of trouble disc, too. Next are my viruses, and similar to last year's in the bag, I carry two, and this one's a newer one. It is a 168, and this one is a 158, so there is quite a difference. These are strictly anti-shots. These are pretty much the only time I ever throw them is if I have an anti-shot off the tee, um, and the reason I carry two is just for headwinds, tailwinds. I like to keep these in my bag for that. Next up are my vanishes, and these are the same as last year. This one isn't like <laughs> like my viruses. This is a brand new one. This one is my old one. The vanish itself is um, it's just kind of like my straight distance driver disc. If I just want to get up a, a long fairway with something that's going to go for a really long ways and I'm just really comfortable with, the vanish is definitely my go-to. It's also a great Anheuser disc for me, and that's the main reason why I like this lighter one because I will use this for really long turnover shots. It's just, it's really awesome for that. It hyzer flips really well. So I am so excited to have my orange vanish back and I can't wait to throw up more this year. I've already been, oh, I just love it so much. So the purple one I love too. It's really fun. It's just, if there's a headwind, I probably will throw this one instead of the orange one. So that's why I carry two. Let's get on to the photons, shall we? I am bagging oops i am bagging four this uh, well to start the season i guess and the reason being is i have two fresh ones and my two old ones so i'll start with my old ones these ones are um a 163 and a 167 is my orange one and i Obviously, if you know me or follow me, <laughs> I love my photons. These are just really great distance drivers. I love these discs. So the orange one is just kind of my max distance hyzer shot disc. So if I have something that needs to definitely end in a hyzer, um, the orange one is going to be my go-to. The purple one would be my disc that I would go to for just a nice open fairway where I can get the S turn out of this disc that I know it has um, and it's just it's so awesome the problem is <laughs> this purple photon and I'm very sad has started flipping too much on me and not coming back so that has been why I'm starting to work these in and I'm still using these this <laughs> purple one is great hyzer flip disc now but I definitely am going to be working a lot with this white one to get it back to where um, that purple one was because when you can get that really nice S turn out of a photon, it just goes so far and it is just, it's great. I love it. All right. And I have one more disc in here and that is the mayhem. I've said it before that I, I really like the mayhem, but the photons have been just my go-to for distance since I started throwing them. So I really didn't find a need for the mayhem anymore or the tenacity for that matter, because I was just getting the distance I wanted out of the photons. And I didn't really see myself throwing this very often anymore. But it is a great disc. Same with the Tenacity. I love both those discs. And I might work the Tenacity back in 
um, or I might end up taking the mayhem out. I don't know yet. So I'm going to keep this one in my bag for now, use it on a few holes that I can think of. And um, yeah, and then this one is a 166. So that pretty much does it. That is going to be what I'll be starting my season out with. I am so excited. I'm so thankful for MVP. They have been incredible. It is just so surreal to me to be a part of such an amazing company and to be a part of such an amazing team. And I'm really, really excited for this year. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and for subscribing and watching my other videos. It really means a lot to me. And if you want to see more videos, just let me know. If you would like to see an in-depth into my stash over here, I can do that. If you want to see a Q&A, I can do that. Um, just let me know what you guys would be interested in. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. We'll go into, oh my God, I didn't even organize my effing bag. <laughs> Did I say the weight of this? Hi, Cookie. I'm late. Oh my God. <laughs> Excuse you. Hey! Oh my god, okay, starting over, starting, starting over, again. Cut!